for the suggested impurities of that one, we needed something a little bit religious, I think you will probably agree. So. My family has traditions. I've heard them a thousand times. My relatives were not excessively bright. They love to go off on missions to rather peculiar climes and lead the wretched heathen to the light. Some of them got beaten up in the course of these rampages. My dear Aunt Maud got eaten up while singing the Rock of Ages. These family expeditions admittedly are a bore, but there is just one uncle whom I positively adore. Poor Uncle Harry wanted to be a missionary, so he took a ship and sailed away. This visionary, hotly pursued by dear Aunt Mary, found a South Sea arm on which to stay. Now the natives greeted them kindly and invited them to dine on yams and clams and human hands and vintage coconut wine, the taste of which was filthy, but the after effects divine. Poor Uncle Harry got a bit gay and longed to tarry. This Aunt Mary couldn't quite allow. She lectured him severely on a number of church affairs, but when she gone to bed, he made her get away down the stairs. For he longed to find the answer to a few of the maiden's prayers. Uncle Harry's not a missionary now. Poor Uncle Harry. After a chat with dear Aunt Mary, thought the time had come to make a row. He lined up all the older girls in one of the local sheds, and while he was reviling them and tearing himself to shreds, they took their mother hubbards off and tied them round their heads. Uncle Harry's not a missionary now, he's awfully happy, but he's certainly not a missionary now. and silly blessed. Of this there could be a shadow of doubt. The fact that his flesh was weaker than even Aunt Mary guessed took even her some time to figure out. In all of these languid latitudes, the atmosphere's exotic. To take up moral attitudes would be too idiotic. Though nobody could be weaker than Uncle had been before, I'll bet today he's giving way at practically every pore. a missionary, found the natives' morals rather crude. He and Aunt Mary swiftly imposed an arbitrary ban upon them shopping in the nude. Now they all considered this silly and they didn't take it well. They burned his boots and several suits and wrecked the mission hotel. They even burned his Macintosh, which made a disgusting smell. Poor Uncle Harry. After some words with dear Aunt Mary, called upon the chiefs for a powwow. Now they didn't brandish knives at him, they really were awfully sweet. They made concerted dives at him and offered him things to eat. But when they threw their wives at him, he had to admit defeat. Uncle Harry's not a missionary now. Poor dear Aunt Mary, though it were a revolution, Thought a time had come to take a bow. Uncle looked upon her in whom he had placed his trust. His last illusion crumbled and withered away to dust, for she placed a flower behind her ear and frankly exposed her bust. Uncle Harry's bow.